Hello! So we've completed Silent Hill 2 last night. Well now, it's time to move on to Silent Hill 3. Alright, so by recommendation, I'm going to easy mode level. Hopefully it doesn't just give things to me, but this way I don't have to think as much and can just continue playing the game. Alrighty, so just like I did with the other games, because I'm emulating this, I did do like a little test run to see how it worked. A rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Someone inside? Looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. tell you one thing that's gonna make me go bonkers is the fact that I've got these reversed so normally I use R1 to ready my weapon I'm gonna be forced to use R2 this time because I can't change the button the giant rabbit costume why would this be here What's this? Something strange in a cagey box thing. A person? Not quite. I don't really want to stare at it for very long, whatever it is. stuffed animal here. There are boxes of cookies and chocolates on display. I love this kind of stuff, but I don't feel like eating it here now. 
There's some normal souvenir type toys here. Huh. Never thought I'd say normal in a place like this. different styles, I don't really want any of them. Getting out of this nasty place, if they had any tools now, that'd be a different story. The row of shirts for sale. I don't think any, uh, I don't think they'd help me at all. The rabbit stuffed animal here, the mouth part is stained red. Almost like bloodstains. Disgusting. Birds. Broken. Thank you. Fucking hell. What a nightmare. Sorry I didn't call sooner. 
Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartwright. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. Now, nah, fuck. Where do I know it from? Where did I once see it? And why does my head hurt so much when I try to remember it? SMAL. I think that's what it's called. I guess someone's in there. So, for me, Silent Hill is the best in the series, as far as the games go, but Silent Hill 3 is my personal favorite. For one thing, I adore Heather. Heather is awesome. I love her. And secondly, I absolutely love the soundtrack to this game. Um, well, that's helpful. Maybe I should walk around it. Never mind. Uh, whenever I bought this game, it actually came with a soundtrack, and I used to listen to that CD all the time. As a matter of fact, I actually think I still have this CD somewhere. Broken. I can't open the door. There's a lot of stuff posted up here, but nothing useful. The door shut tight, it won't open at all. Broken. Lock a door won't open. Guess I'll just have to leave it alone. It's locked. Broken. Broken. should be a surprise because we're obviously being funneled.
is this thing? It's definitely not human. I've never heard of such an animal. And no way is it a costume. Sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. Handgun bullets. So one thing you recall about this game is one, you don't want to go around killing everything. But I think that only applies after you beat the game the first time. Because I know if you go run around killing too many enemies, you get the possessed ending. But I think the only way to get the possessed ending is after you've already played in New Game Plus. Another thing is, is you can actually reload. If you equip the handgun bullets, gun is currently not loaded. Knife, it's a switchblade for self-defense. Better with than without it against those monsters. Handgun, holds up to 10 rounds of ammunition. Small and not powerful, but easy to use. And if you press R3, she reloads. Yay! Actually got some form of a reload without actually having to go to the menu. I can tell from here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone's been killed by a monster. Not that I hate clothes, but this isn't the time or place. There's a dressing room. I don't need to go in here. Nothing on the shop counter particularly catches my eye. Central Square Shopping Center. Got the shopping mall map. Broken. So whenever I tested this game, the door won't open because I'll just leave it alone. Um, about the only thing I notice is that the game doesn't have film grain, which, hey, that's fine by me. I hate film grain. Drove me nuts in Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3. Technically has it, but the emulation is not emulated. Plus, I think this game actually has an option to turn it off, if I remember correctly. Or, no, I guess not. I guess that's like Silent Hill 2, and you can't turn it off until you beat the game. Oh, well, okay, status does jack up. Go to the option screen. You don't remember that. the button but the elevator won't come is it broken or something oh. ah. <laughs> sometimes whenever I press uh, like X on this it acts like I hit it twice so if it seems like I skip stuff, it's not intentional. It's the controller being weird. It'd be too hard to get through here with all the boxes and pallets.
I'll post it up here, but I think this will. Broken. I can't open the door. Broken. 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 Hey, fresh baked bread. Bread. But I'm not really hungry, so I guess I don't need to worry about it. Got a pair of tongs. Milton's Bakery, crispy toasted bread right to your very door. Everything on sale. The flyer. No employees around. I wonder where they all went. Okie dokie. Wonder if the enemies in this game will get back up like they do in Silent Hill 2. Door back here, I didn't check. Broken. That was the door, right? Yeah, that was it. Do -do 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 -do. Broken. stuff but none of it looks really useful. I was kind of hoping it would continue chewing on this. Whatever it is. Yes, jerky. Pendant. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's the one of my most cherished belongings. Tongs. It's a big pair of tweezer-like tongs for grabbing bread. Husky. It's my front door key. 
bullets for a handgun. Processed dried meat. Sometimes it's just enough to distract my. So I came in here for a monster distraction. <laughs> Heather looks at doors. Does she look only at doors that she can go in? Broken. Yeah, so she's not looking at the doors that are broken. There's a lot of stuff posted up here, but nothing useful. Okay, well, she didn't look at that door and I could open it. There's something in here with me. Health drink. Health drink. And some handgun bullets. Something's falling between the table and the floor. I think it might be a key. My arms are a little longer, I might be able to reach it. Oh, what about the tongs I got at the bakery earlier? Got the key taken with tongs. This key was dropped in the storeroom. I used the tongs to get it. There's a tag on the key that says, My Best Sellers. There's a jewel inside, like a little red tablet. It's the I got flabba la bada for the bus. <laughs> When I asked Dad what it was, he said it, just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. Because it's a guy with a bit of a bit of us. I think the actual pronunciation that I heard Dolly use in the first game was like, a glaf at us? It seems so familiar because I read about it in that book. No, that's not it. Not the book. It's from the altar. Altar. What am I thinking? Mm, love Silent Hill and its blinding red light. Oh, hi. Just decide to stop chasing you whenever you enter a door. None of the books are very interesting. They're just just the kind that I can buy anywhere. Emo, emo. 
got handgun bullets. It's locked. Oh boy. I suppose there's a hint anywhere around here. Poster with the eyes. The eyes are looking right at me. Got the Shakespeare anthology, uh, anthology one. I got the Shakespeare anthology three. It was on the floor at the bookstore, a Shakespeare book, just like it says. So presumably somewhere around here, a shelf that's missing books, and it's right here. There's a space for some books here. Is this where the ones on the floor belong? Oh, probably so. Nine one two three. I know two one oh. It's a lot. Hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters? They have come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise, despoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me, and your true self as well. Yeah, you have no eyebrows. That which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Crazy bitch. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? And see, like, what she says there is kind of the hint that you shouldn't run around killing everything. It'll lead to paradise with blood-stained hands. Broken. Broken. Yeah. 
broken. Broken at doors. This a elevator. A radio. What the hell is this doing falling down from the ceiling? You know, I guess it's been so static like this before. But all it's picking up is static. I wonder if it's broken. Mm -hmm. Not even a kid could believe in this. Hi, Valtio. But when am I going to back up? sounds. Boy, that's not intimidating at all. Hey, I found a door that works. Pile of health drinks, I won't complain about that. And yeah, ampule. Finding one of those pretty early on, aren't we? There are books and magazines here, but I have no time to read them. Did 
this again. And it makes my head hurt, but at the same time, it's like so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important. I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering. The aptly named First Need Room. is better than dealing with two. Unless it's going to force me down that path anyways. In which case, that will suck. And it's currently looking like that's exactly what it's going to do. Ugh. Alright, fine. At the very least, I can just run past him and go through the door because it's literally the only way to go now. with these footsteps. Is this place safe? Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. some handgun bullets and a first aid kit. All of that is useful. Don't drink, it's full of nutrition and should help me recover at least a little of my strength. I already got five of them. First aid kit. This will help me patch up my wounds fairly well, I think. Ampules. This is the stuff. It'll wipe out all the pain and help me recover my strength.
there's a light switch. It's on right now. Will you turn the light off? I got a flashlight. That's another thing about this game. It throws monsters at you constantly. You can't really... If I recall in this game, you can't really sit there and fight every monster because you'll run out of supplies. Like, this game is not quite... At least if I remember right, it's not quite like Sonic Hill 1 and 2 where it just throws ammo and health at you. What the hell was that? Those are awfully dirty. Stained with blood splatters? Oops. We weren't like this before. What could have happened? I got a hanger. Wirecode hanger I got at the boutique. I can deal, or flesh lips I can deal with the dogs, they're fucking annoying. Uh, what you looking at, Heather? Is someone actually in there? with blood but there's no one in here did someone just, did someone respond or is it just me
No, I can't go further back here. Now where in the hell am I supposed to go? That's a bit unfair. Full 
of filthy muddy water. It looks like something is stopping it up. We can remove the blockage? Yes. Oh, don't tell me you use your hand. Oh. Oh. Get it. This is way too gross. <laughs> Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? James. <laughs> so that was just an Easter egg. I was gonna say, I don't remember how they're doing that. It had a lot more sense than James did. <laughs> so I got a wire coat hanger and I have no fucking clue what to do with the damn thing. Okay, well, it's up on an hour and I need to stop anyway, so I'm going to stop recording and I'm probably going to fuck around and find out what the fuck I'm missing and then probably start recording again. So, be back in a bit, I guess. <laughs>